In this video, we're looking at the VAT return. So if I go to reports and the shortcut to the VAT return, I have my VAT return. So this tells us at the top here how the VAT was set up in the settings in Zero. So we have our VAT number and it's on a cash scheme and it's monthly this the way this one's been set up. I'll talk about late claims in a moment and so this uh, VAT return is from the 1st of October to the 31st of October and the deadline for submitting is the 7th of December. So every time we create a transaction in Xero, um, the boxes are filled out using the information from the transaction. So this is a live report. So at any time you can come into this report and see how the liability is building up and so you can be prepared for what you need to pay over at the end of your usually a quarter. So you can see that and you can see the um, other information in all the other boxes. Now when your quarter or your VAT period has finished and you've entered all your transactions, it's always a good idea to check that these figures that Xero have on the VAT return are correct. And you can do that by going over to the VAT audit report. And it will list all the transactions underneath the headings for each of the VAT codes that you have in Xero. So we have here 20% VAT on income and we have all the lines on the, on the sales invoices that are coded with 20% VAT on income. Then we have the 20% VAT on expenses and on this particular one we've got a couple of, uh, we've got an old VAT code that's been used, that would have been an old transaction that's come through onto this um, VAT return. And that's because it's a cash um, set up as a cash scheme. So the VAT is liable when the um, transaction is paid for. And we have the 5% here. Now, if there are any other of the codes have been used, they will also be listed with the transaction lines underneath. So there'll be also be the exempt expenses and the zero rated expenses and no VAT. And just to remind you, I think I might have said in other videos, but if you code anything to no VAT, it will appear on this audit report, but it won't appear on the actual VAT return. So it should if it was an expense. So if you have paid a supplier in the UK that's not VAT registered, when you c create the transaction, you wouldn't choose no VAT, you'd choose zero rated expenses. If you chose no VAT, the, the transaction wouldn't appear in box seven and it should appear in box seven. Even though there's no VAT involved, it should appear in box seven. So no VAT is used for um, transactions such as wages, bank fees, transfers, directors loans transactions, all those kind of things that aren't required on the VAT return. Now just talking about the late claims, it is a good idea to have this late claims box ticked. So for example, this is for transactions between the 1st and 31st of October. Now, if a transaction was created at late, so it should have been in the last period, um, but that's all been, um, the VAT has been returned, sorry, has been submitted. Um, if you have the late claims box ticked, it will appear on the current VAT return and it will be listed in the audit report under late claims so you can see which ones they are. So everything will be picked up if you include have this box ticked include late VAT claims. Once you're happy that your VAT return is correct you can then file that now. And this will do two things. First, it will publish the report in Xero, which means it holds a snapshot of this report and I will show you where in a moment. And the second thing it will do is it will ask you if you want to submit this VAT return directly to the HMRC gateway. And if you do, you just fill in your, um, your code and your, um, I can't think of the word. <laughs> 
you fill in your code and your password that's what I'm thinking of so that you don't have to actually log into the HMRC gateway and um, copy and paste all these details in there you can do it directly so when you've done that zero will then move on to your next VAT period so when you collect collect click on VAT return you will come to the next VAT period so where is the submitted VAT return stored if I go to reports and all reports we have a tab published and we have a tab filed with the HMRC there's nothing in either at the moment but in published this is where all the reports that are published, so it wouldn't just be the VAT returns. And you'd be able to click on it, be listed under here, and you'd be able to click on it and open it up. Same with filed under the HMRC. Um, you'd be able to click on it and open it up and see the VAT return that you submitted as well as the audit report that's connected with it. So if you had a VAT inspection, you'd be able to open up the audit report for the period that they are inspecting and the inspector should be able to work from that audit report.